guys, it's Melanie, and today I have kind of a fun video to share with you. So I was recently looking through my Bath and Body Works candle collection, and there were seven candles that I pulled out that I absolutely love. Like, I love these fragrances, and they were either fragrances that Bath and Body Works put out once and then never released again. <laughs> Or in the case of one of these scents, it was something that they had out for a couple of years and then randomly just decided to do away with it again. So these are my seven candles that I wish Bath and Body Works would bring back. They are not just from like their fall and winter collections, but they're also from, two of them are actually from their spring collections. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into it. These are in no particular order with the exception of the very last one that I'm gonna show you. And that is the one that I am most de desperate for them to bring back. <laughs> so I'm going to start with Spiced Pumpkin Cider. This was released last year with the Pumpkin Cafe collection. And this is just the nicest cider scent. It's very, um, it's a very sweet, but also a very like, strong spicy cider type scent it's so nice you guys I have two three wicks and one like small candle left and I really hope that they decide to bring this one back again because honestly this was to me one of the most refreshing pleasant cider scents that I've ever smelled like in candle form ever I absolutely fell in love with this and I was so sad and bummed when it didn't come back this year but I kind of had a feeling that it wouldn't come back because I love it and when I really love something it doesn't return <laughs> let's talk about something else that didn't come back and that's blackberry bramble tea now I heard that this was a repackage of I think it was blueberry pumpkin patch possibly I never did get that one so I don't know if it was a repackage of that or not but this just in and of itself as blackberry bramble tea um, did not come back this year um, this was from I think this was the artisan collection that they came out with last year so again this was a 2014 and this basically smells like tea and spices it's so great as like an early fall transitional scent. I just love this fragrance so much, you guys. <sighs> Honestly, it's one of the ones that like, I could probably actually burn this year round, I think, but I really specifically liked it as a transitional scent. I still have a couple of three wicks and then a bunch of the mason jars left in this, probably like five or six mason jars. <sighs> I really wish they would bring this one back. I enjoyed it so much and I just the color of the wax, the label, everything about this just appealed to me and womp womp, it didn't come back this year. Doesn't mean that it'll never come back, but usually, usually if it doesn't come back the following year, it's the likelihood of it coming back is probably slim to none. <laughs> Roasted pumpkin butter. Now, this I heard was a test scent. Um, I don't know if this was ever released nationwide. I think that my Bath and Body Works store used to be a test store, and this was from 2013. So, this was from a while ago. But roasted pumpkin butter didn't really smell like roasted pumpkin butter. It smelled like roasted peanut butter. And I know that's not for everybody, but for me, when I burn this, it smelled like roasted peanut butter with like a hint of false spices. And it was so good, you guys. It honestly is one of like the most unique smelling candles that I ever burned. It was just, it was a mix between salty and sweet and just perfect for fall. I don't think of peanut butter as like a fall treat, but it's just, this was perfection to me. And I'm so sad that it didn't end up coming back. But this was, I, I don't think that I'm ever going to be able to burn this one unless they release it again. I do know that they released this in one of the layer candles this year. But I figured like with the layers, like they would probably blend together. And I just wanted pure like roasted pumpkin butter. I didn't want it mixing with creamy pumpkin. I didn't want it mixing with sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I just 
just this. <laughs> but it was not meant to be. Okay, this one, Vanilla Cedarwood. <laughs> I love this one. Um, this was a winter release in 2013, and I don't remember the name of the collection, but this, oh, this is so nice, you guys. This honestly smells like it has a really nice cedarwood note to it, but that the vanilla is pretty heavy in this, and so it really mellows that out. It's feminine, but almost masculine at the same time. There is that note of like amber in here as well that just warms it up so nicely. This is just a perfect candle for the winter time. Um, I burned through, I believe, two of these, and this is my last backup, so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to burn it but it's just honestly so good you guys I wasn't a huge fan of like the color of the wax or the label or anything that wasn't really anything special to me but just the fragrance in and of itself was absolutely fantastic and I would love it if they would come back with that one okay <laughs> I'm sure you guys know this one's coming <laughs> this is raspberry peach macaron I love this I have quite a few three wicks as well as quite a few of these mason jars left this is, people either love this or they hated it. I happen to love it. It's a very sweet almond cream macaron type scent. It's just, it's bakery, it's fun, it's springy, it's like fruity. It's just, it's so many things. And honestly, this was like, this was my love. <laughs> I don't normally like a lot of the things that are released in the spring or summer from Bath and Body Works. I tend to not really go crazy with candles during that time, but this was the one candle that I found that I was just like, yes, you are my life. I just, I love this fragrance so, so much. And another one that was released last year at spring, so 2014, was the Pink Petal Tea Cake. So I still have, I think, I think I have two, three wicks left, and then either two or three of this style, like the hobnail jars, but um, the fragrance is Pink Petal Tea Cake. And this, the description on this just was so like, I don't know, made you want to go out and have like tea and cookies. Tea for two becomes even sweeter in this fragrance of Pink Petal Tea Cake made from garden rose petals, freshly baked cake, and a vanilla glaze. And that's honestly what you get from this. It has an odd bakery note, but at the same time it has that rose floral note. It just is the most lovely combination that like you would never think to pair together, but it's absolutely beautiful. I also love this hobnail glass that they came out with. I need to burn these in the spring because I want to reuse these <laughs> elsewhere in my house. Um, but I also am afraid they're never going to release this again, which is so dumb because I know so many people love this fragrance and my hope is that next spring they'll come back with this guy again because it really was super, super popular and I know it would sell extremely well. So let's get to the last one. This is the one that was around and then they took it away. Those bastards took it away. <laughs> this is one of my favorite candles ever, 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 ever from Bath and Body Works. Um, all of these really like are my favorite fragrances ever, but this is like ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it's Nutmeg and Spice from obviously the White Barn collection. This one is from 2013. I think 2013 was the last year that I was able to get this fragrance. And they do randomly, like last year they came out with the wallflower in this fragrance, but did not come back with the candle. And I don't know why. I know so many people that love this. It's so neat, you guys, because it really doesn't smell all that amazing on cold, but when you light it, it just transforms. It's like almost a completely different candle. It's so good. It basically smells like you're baking cookies at Christmas time. Like there's that hint of that like creamy nutmeg like running throughout it. And the base note is like a sugar cookie. So it's Creamy nutmeg and sugar cookies, essentially. And quite honestly, it is one of the most lovely, lovely scents during the holidays. And I just don't know why they wouldn't bring this back. That's so weird to me. <laughs> but everything about this, the color of the wax, the label, all of it just 
this was probably some of my favorite packaging from um, from Bath and Body Works, and yeah, I'm just oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> this is honestly the one that just makes me like shed a little tiny tear. I'm obviously kidding, but I just I don't know why they wouldn't bring it back. <laughs> anyway, those are my seven candles out of my collection that I just like hope and pray Bath and Body Works decides to re-release again one day. Let me know down below what some of your picks would be for re-releases. And I'm kind of curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. So um, go ahead and share that with me down below. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.